Hello everyone, Lisa here. Today I'm going to show you how to make Windows start up like SteamOS. You will need to have Steam installed for this. Alright, open Steam, go to Settings, and select Interface. Then make sure Scale Text and Icons to match monitor settings is checked. Run Steam when my computer starts is unchecked, and Start Steam in Big Picture Mode is checked. Now we will need to stop Big Picture Mode from playing a boot movie when it opens. To do this, go to the C drive, select Program Files x86, find the Steam folder, select Steam UI, and delete everything in the Movies folder. By default, Steam will re-download these movies every time it opens. To prevent this, all of the Steam shortcuts will need to be modified to include dash no verify files. We'll need to change one more thing to make Steam open in a consistent amount of time. Go to the control panel, and select Network and Internet. Open Internet Options, go to the Connections tab, and select LAN Settings. Then uncheck Automatically Detect Settings. Since the goal here is to have Steam start before the desktop, you will want to have the taskbar auto-hide so it doesn't randomly show up. To do this, right-click on the taskbar and go to Taskbar Settings. Open Taskbar Behavior and check Automatically Hide the Taskbar. Now for a seamless experience, we can set up Windows to auto-sign you in. If you're using a Microsoft account, you will need to set up a local account for this. To set up a local account, go to your account info. And select sign in with the local account instead. It will show a warning, but you can click next to continue. You will be prompted to log in with your Microsoft password to confirm. And now you can set up a local account. Fill in the necessary details and click next. Select sign out. Wait for Windows to finish signing you out, then sign in with your new account, and go back to Sign in Options. If you don't have a password on your account, you will need to temporarily add one. Then you will see an option for Require Sign In. Set it to never, and remove your password. Now Windows will sign you in automatically. With everything prepped, let's get started with the mod itself. First, find Windows Handheld Mod on GitHub or use the link in the description. Download all of the files and use the included link to download FFPlay. Then download a boot movie. Note, the boot movie will need to be a WebM file.
name your boot video boot.webm Now go to the Downloads folder and extract both ffplay and the GitHub files. Next find the ffplay exe file and move it to your Downloads folder. Now go to the Handle Mod folder and move both random underscore boot underscore movie dot bat and steam underscore startup dot bat to the Downloads folder. Now move everything to the Videos folder. Now create a folder called Boot Video. If you're planning on using multiple boot videos, move all of them to the boot video folder. You will need to right click on these scripts and unblock them before they can be used. Now when you run the random underscore boot underscore movie dot bat script, the boot dot webm file will be replaced with another video from the folder. This will allow your boot movies to be randomized, just like SteamOS. Now to install the mod itself, open regedit. And go to computer backslash h key underscore current underscore user backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows NT backslash current version backslash win logon hit enter then right click create a new string value and name it shell now find your steam underscore startup dot bat file, right click on it, and select copy as path. Now right click on the shell file, and select modify. Now paste the path, and click OK. And we're done! Just restart Windows and watch the magic happen.